Well, a very good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to teach you the topic relations and functions, which is the first and foremost lesson of part one, class 12th, mathematics. This is the first lesson that you are going to study. Dear children, in fact, uh, before we jump on to the topic relations and functions, we, wish, we shall be recapitulating what exactly we have studied in class 11th. One, we have already studied Cartesian product. Two, we have studied a small definition on relation as well. Now, let us once recapitulate so that you understand better what exactly a Cartesian product and the relation is then followed by relations to in depth and the functions further. Now, what is Cartesian product? Very interestingly, Cartesian product is a word that is derived from graph paper. When you take the graph paper, the graph paper has both x axis and y axis which is having depicted with the numbers 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 like that. So, it goes uh, starts with one minus infinity and plus infinity, uh, plus infinity and minus infinity. When you try to plot the points which you are very familiar in class 10th and as well as in 12th, you get everywhere the points. Here you can every cross is bearing one uh, x coordinate and y coordinate. The first one is x coordinate and the y is the second coordinate. Each point is referred to as ordered pair. This you have already studied in your class 11th. Now, let us touch upon what is Cartesian product. You take two sets A and B with 1, 2, 3 A, B. Now, this set A has three elements and this set B has two elements. Now, what happens 1A, 1B you are connecting, 2A, 2B you are connecting, 3A, 3B. That means, if you just enlist the number of ordered pairs or connectives that you have already done, you are likely to get 1 comma A, 1 comma B, 2 comma A, 2 comma B, then 3 comma A, 3 comma B. Now, what happens? This is exactly the number of you count down the number of ordered pairs that you have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, n of a is 3, n of b is 2, n of a cross b, the number of elements, this is called cardinal number. Please remember this word, it is also called cardinal number. The cardinal number of a cross b is going to be 6, that is, of course, you can say 3 2s are 6. Well, now this is exactly what you have studied in class 11th. Now, what next are we going to study about? Here, we are now going to see a recapitulation of relation. Before I bring on to the topic of relation, I would like to ask you, supposing that there is a boy in your class, uh, it's say 12th class, a girl is in class 6th, 7th or 8th, whatever it is the class you take. Supposing that these two are related, what could be possible relations that you can connect these two, the boy and the girl, how you can bring about? You can bring a relation like B is brother of, brother of the girl G. This is brother of is a connective that is bringing two different objects together and making an ordered pair. This is an ordered pair because to exist this particular pair, you have a connection in between. That connection is in fact called relation. This is a connection that you have got in the real life. Such connections were many. You take a male and a female. These two can be connected using the word called marriage. So, that means marriage. Uh, you can say M is husband of the female F. That means this is again a, a relation of real life connective which you which may which make which gives you an understanding that how two quantities can be clubbed I mean bring together and pair them in the form of an ordered pair that is this way or M comma F. Now in this case you supposing that you take M is a husband of F you say then M cannot be a husband of F1. This E cannot be a husband of is also called negative relation. In fact, where the negative word is used is not, then it is a negative relation. That means at large what we understand is relation is basically a rule 
it could be a mathematical it could be a real life uh, which will connect two different objects coming together when the two objects come together we make in the form of a pair that pair could be put in the parenthesis a pair of a pair of parenthesis and separating by separated by comma that is going to be called an ordered pair now such kind of relations are plenty in the real life now the question is that do we have such relations in mathematics so now as i told you that in mathematics we have got mathematical relations as well for example you take uh, two sets say a and b now you have got 1 2 3 here 1 4 you have got and uh, of course 9 and 16 also you can club into this now what happens i connect 1 1 1 4 1 9 1 4 10 2 4 3 9 and 3 9 now i have connected this what i have got is that say for example 24 21 214 it was 216 sorry 31 34 39 9, and 316 so all together i am going to get 3 fours are 12 ordered pairs you agree with me what i did is a cartesian product now i'll bring a small rule between these two sets look at this condition now i say connect only those which satisfy which satisfy is square sorry uh, square root of square root positive square root of positive square root of then the moment i say this you 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 need to be very careful that is 1 2 3 1 4 9 10 and 16 1 is a positive square root of 1 2 is a positive square root of 4 3 is a positive square root of 9 that means i can say 1 is positive square square root of 1 this is a x coordinate and its y coordinate 2 is positive square root of 4 3 positive square root of 9 it means now the ordered pairs i am going to get a 1 comma 1 2 comma 4 3 comma 9 now how many ordered pairs do you have here there are only three ordered pairs whereas the same set when the same sets we have taken here what we got there were 12 ordered pairs now the question is do we have these ordered pairs in the n of a cross b also yes absolutely the n of a is going to uh, the, sorry a cross b is definitely going to have going to contain all the ordered pairs of this because this is going to have about 12 ordered pairs while this has got only three ordered pairs if i term it as capital r then it has got r is a subset of a cross b that means what exactly has happened the relation which is which we have taken relation or can be a rule that has restricted number of ordered pairs getting into the set the roster form if is resulting the number of ordered pairs present in capital r are less than the number of ordered pairs in capital a cross b so we conclude one uh, statement here relation is a sub set of cartesian product a cross b so this is the basically what we need to to take so the, you may ask a question here sir you said it is r is a subset of a cross b now the question arises do we have instances where r can also be equal to a cross b of course we have got that's why instead of writing in a regimental format like r is subset of a cross b we do write sometimes a r is a subset or equal to a cross b this is the permanent notation permanent notation we use in order to connect a relation and the cartesian product well dear children we have now understood about relations how a relation can be defined and how a relation is subset of 
Cartesian product A cross P. Now let us look into the present class 12th topic where it starts. The class 12th topic starts with types of relations. Types of relations. Now how many types of relations we have got? One is you have empty relation, empty relation and the second one is universal relation. Now, what exactly these two are? And one more thing I want to give you, please make a note of this. These two relations are also called trivial relations, trivial relations. So, trivial means quite insignificant relations rather. So, that means quite rarely found as such. Now, empty relation, what is an empty relation? I give you a small example. You have a say for example, you have a set of students uh, say uh, x, y, z and the set B has x, y, z. Now here I would rather say that uh, here the students, uh, we have say for example here I, I, I take one thing, here I instead of taking x, y, z, I will take uh, x1, x2, x3 and y1, y2, y3 that would be appropriate. X1, uh, X2, X3 and Y1, Y2 and Y3. Now, when you try to connect with the relation called is brother of, is a brother of. Say for example, you are in a girl's uh, uh, school, complete, it's not a co-education. Then there is a least probability that these two can ever be brothers. The reason, this is also a set of girls, this is also a set of girls. How can they be uh, brothers of? That means this relation doesn't carry any meaning. So, in this particular set, there cannot be any ordered pair to define as such. So, it is an empty set. It is an empty relation rather. Where there is no ordered pair, we call it as a empty relation relation. I will give you one more example. In the same, same school, say for example, I would take boys and girls of the same class. Now, there is a least probability, there might be, but there is a least probability if I consider the boys here, boys are here and girls are here, there is a le very less probability could be zero also that boys can be the brothers of the girls of the same class. So in this case, is brother of which will always be uh, will always be empty relation. Now if I come to if I come to the same set that I take A and B. Now it is connected with one specific relation, say R1. R1 is the difference the difference of heights of boys and girls girls is 3 meters. Then what happens? You have x1, x2, x3, uh, y1, y2, y3. Now, uh, if you take approximately one boy, one boy height is uh, say even at the most 6 feet, then the girl's feet is bound to be somewhere around 4 feet. It cannot be, it's quite unlikely to have uh, 3 uh, meter, 3 feet as such. Now, I will tell you here, when you define, try to find out the, the difference of the heights of both boys and girls, there is a possibility that here what happens now here this difference between the heights of the girls and boys could be could be the what is it called this boy and girl will have a height of say 3 3 meters less than 3 meters or uh, the difference between is 3 meters it can be possible 3 meters or less i say for example 3 meters or less then x2 x2 uh, goes to y2 of course x2 x1 also goes to y2 x1 goes to y3 like that if i take r1 will have exactly nine ordered pairs nine ordered pairs explain us that the it is equal to cartesian product as such well dear children now i'll begin with the same thing we were talking about empty relation and universal relation. Now, empty relation and universal relation, the example which I have taken, uh, I think it must have been very clear to you people, especially for universal relation, when you take uh, the same class of students, uh, boys and girls, then in that case, say it is A cross A, then what happens, all the boys height and the girls height, if you measure, it is uh, definitely going to be less than 3 or exactly 3 could be, could be 3. So that means in that case, uh, capital R is going to be having all the 9 ordered pairs. 9 ordered pairs implying the fact that R is equal to A cross 
A, which is nothing but the cross product of the two sets is same as the relation, then it is called universal relation. For empty relation, as I told you, the capital R is going to be phi. This is the empty as well as a universal relation. So, well, dear children, about universal relation, let me come back. So, you, you, you try to take a relation called difference difference of heights less than 3 then the difference between these two could be definitely less than 3 because you are identical you are taking identical values x1 related to x1 x2 related to x x2 x3 related to x3 as well x1 is related to x2 x one related to x3, x1 related, uh, x2 related to x1. If you take all relations, in fact, uh, that 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, it is going to be capital R is equal to A cross A, which we call universal relation.